Hola amigos, this is Guanajuato City, one of the most beautiful cities in all of Mexico and easily one of our favorites. So after living here for over two months, we put together this list of 10 things you have to see and do when you visit Guanajuato. Empecemos. El Pipila Monument is one of the biggest icons of Guanajuato. He was a miner who became a hero to this city during the Mexican War of Independence in 1810, when he carried a slab of rock on his back to protect himself from the muskets of the Spanish and set the door of the Alondiga on fire, opening the way to the insurgents to kill the Spanish who were hiding inside. His monument is set on a panoramic hillside where you can take in the best view of Guanajuato. So we're right outside Teatro Juarez, one of the most stunning buildings here in Guanajuato. Yeah, this building was built in the late 19th century and is still a common meeting point in Guanajuato to this day. And it still hosts concerts and theater. And this is Jardín de la Unión, the heart of the city. As you can see, there's a lot happening and there's a lot to see and do here. People watch, eat food, buy elote. So much going on here. You gotta check it out. Muy bien. Okay, amigos, right across from El Jardín de la Unión is El Templo de San Diego, the perfect spot to tell you about Callejoneadas. Callejoneadas are walking tours of the city led by a band where they take you to the most famous callejones and streets of the city as they play music, tell jokes, tell you stories of this beautiful city, Guanajuato. You have to check it out. Okay, amigos, this is Casa Museo Diego Rivera, the birthplace of the famous Mexican muralist Diego Rivera, who was born in this same house in 1886. Diego was known for some incredible murals, but he might be better known to you as the husband of Frida Kahlo. If you come to Guanajuato with your significant other, you have to check out El Callejón del Beso. This place tells the story of the Mexican Romeo and Juliet. Let's check it out. Legend has it that the daughter of a wealthy man lived here. She was going to be forced to marry a rich old man in Spain by her father. But the daughter fell in love with a local minor boy. When her dad discovered their secret relationship, he threatened to send her away and locked her in her room. But the minor boy couldn't stay away, so he saved all the money he could until he could buy the neighboring house just feet away from his beloved's balcony. They spent hours at night on the balcony, talking quietly about their love and plans to escape. One night, her dad found them kissing on the balcony, and in a fit of rage, he threw a dagger at the boy. But the dagger missed and stabbed his daughter in the chest. She died slowly in the boy's arms. Days later, the boy decided to take his own life as well, rather than live alone without her. And now, couples come here to kiss on the third step for good luck, and to get a shot for Instagram. Mercado Hidalgo. This is the main market in the city of Guanajuato. It opened its doors in 1910 as part of the celebrations of the 100th anniversary of Mexico's independence. At the time, there was no other market in all of Mexico that could compare to this one. 
The building is made out of steel and pink quarried stone. The design was inspired by the French train stations of the early 20th century. Food, traditional Mexican candy, arts and crafts, and spices are some of the many things you can find in this market. Now this is La Alondiga de Granaditas, an icon of the city of Guanajuato and all of Mexico. La Alondiga used to be a warehouse and then became the birthplace of the independence movement. This is where Miguel Hidalgo, leader of the independence movement, brought a group of rebels to attack the Spaniards hiding inside. The Spaniards were hiding because they were suspecting an attack. They knew the rebels were mad and there was a movement starting for independence. So El Pipila carried a slab of rock on his back to protect himself from injury and lit the door here on fire, starting the massacre on the Spanish hiding inside. The Mines Guanajuato became a thriving city under Spanish rule when large deposits of minerals, particularly silver, were found in the area. During the 18th century, the city of Guanajuato was the number one silver producer in the world as much as two-thirds of the world's silver came from here. Mining brought an incredible amount of wealth to this region and it still plays an important role in the culture of this city. Magnificent churches, castles and many mansions were built with the riches from the mines. The Mummy Museum Si fuiste a Guanajuato y no viste las momias, no fuiste a Guanajuato, is the saying. The Guanajuato Mummy Museum opened its doors in 1969. It's located right behind the cemetery where the mummies were first discovered. This museum exhibits the bodies of 111 mummified men, women, and babies. If you're into weird tourist attractions, creepy museums, or just history in general, you have to visit this museum. Those were 10 of our favorite things to do in Guanajuato City. You absolutely have to check this place out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel and Spanish tips. And remember, el camino es el destino. The journey is the destination. Nos vemos pronto. Adios.